Well done. We have successfully death. murdered all of the slavers who are outside, except the merchant and the merchant's buddy. Did we kill the guard? I don't know that we killed the, the roaming guard either, so there could be the three of them. They're somehow still oblivious. What about the guard? I think the guard was the the one who was on this bit shooting, so I think, yeah, it is literally just those two left. Hey, look, that potion isn't marked as stealing anymore. I wonder if that's because everybody's dead. That'd be a cool touch. And a scroll of web. A heavy chest. Well, Asterion. 18, good job. Oh, wow. Deed of ownership. A formal declaration of territory ownership by the Iron Hand Gnomes. Let it be known from the Fardrum to the Firelands, from Morn Diver to the Spawning Deep. The Iron Hand Gnomes, with the blessing of the Shield of the Golden Hills, declare possession of the tunnels, open spaces, peoples, and contents of the Underdark Territory beneath the Western Heartlands. Okay, well, I'm not going to steal that, but I will. I expect these were the things from slaves. Um, but I don't know that. Slaver's inventory? Oh, it's a bit of paper. Uh, and what's that? An inventory of gnome slaves that outlines where each gnome is. Trapped. Trapped. Missing. Trapped. Missing. Who was the one who was back? I don't remember. I don't remember who uh, the one back at the, uh, the mushroom land was. Alright, let's loot all of these guys then. Ring of Absolute Force. If the wearer is bearing the absolute... Oh. Cap of Wrath? During combat, when the wearer starts their turn, they gain Wrath for two turns? Ooh, that might be decent for Karlak. She's currently wearing Haste Helmet. No, that's better. Deep Delver. Inflict Shattered on hit. An additional one to four against Shattered targets. Interesting. A cool-looking wooden shield. I'll nick that. Elder's Journal. The thick journal details the life and times of a Dwegar Elder. The clan's gone soft, maybe even me, no way around it. I spent ten tides of the Dark Lake with my head bowed to the exile. I spent twenty tides with pick and shovel in hand, mining for steel and dun spearing. And for seven tides I stood motionless between the block stones till the Thuldors released me. I was forged in Ladiguar's fires. I learned to toil without complaint, to expect no reward without effort. Ladiguar is the taskmaster, we are his workers. This is our way. Fifty wet seasons have passed since the Thaldors refused to admit me. For forty of them, Thryn would have lifted mountains herself if Ladigua willed it. Now she canes slaves of the Biest of this drow and is so called absolute. Magma will drown in that ale of his if the night terrors don't claim him first. And me? I'll tour for the exile, but till I see a mountain of coin, I won't lift a goddamn finger for Thryn or the shit grin near. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that with him. I don't need that. We'll take his uh, mushroom, though. A whipping cane. Wonderful. Another one. Scale mail. Damn. Nice looking armor. The past is nearer than we think. Hey, Kith. We simply... Well, let's see what I you've got. haven't murdered everybody. Why would you even say that? All these weapons? Ah, oh, I found them. They were just lying around. On the, the floor. With nothing to worry about. The blood? No, that's not fresh. Why would you... No. Uh, n n no. Nice one. Thank you, man. I'm back up to 3,000 gold. Lank Bug. Apprentice Larida. Barkus Root. Or Welso. Let's talk to Lunk Bug. The gnomes speak in soft whispers. The words all but lost in the hot air. Uh, eavesdrop. Clear your throat. I mean, they can't be unaware of what's just happened, so I will uh, clear my throat. Lunkbug, hush! We're being watched. We're working as we can, Mom. Very hard indeed. They are. They're oblivious. Um, a friend, a friend Thula sent me. The sergeant's defeated. Now is your chance to flee. Yeah, or I'll mention the first one. I'm a friend. Thula sent me. Glittering gods. She actually survived. Praise Iron Hand. Lerida, our prayers are answered. Mom, our friends are trapped in the cave in. And I know a way to get them out. Bug, please. Truce or near will... You know what he'll do. That sounds like quite the drama. Leave the true soul to me. Now tell me what you know. A terrible situation. I'm sure you'll pay handsomely if I help. Leave the true soul to me. Now tell me what you know. Young Bug, don't. I've... 
I've got no choice, Larida. We have to chance it. A few days back, there was a... a scene. Our friend Philomene, she's a sapper, set off a blast and ran off. Mm -hmm. We set a spot for hiding if someone found trouble. I'll mark your map. Yeah, she's gone. If Philomene made it, you'll find her there. Yeah. She'll have the stuff to blow that tunnel wide open and get Beldron and the rest out. Yeah, this is awkward. I've spoken, she's gone, but she's safe, I'll do what I can. I have some explosive powder, my hands are full. <laughs> I can add Philomene's head to my collection. I've spoken to Philomene. She's gone now, but she's safe. She's... she's all right. Thank the stern himself. But the others... They'll die in that tunnel, if not by poison, then by Nia's hand. Mum, you have the powder. My Beldron will die back there. Blow up that wall, I'm begging you. I'll do what I can. Hurry! Our people won't last in that cave-in forever. Alright. And now, I guess, um, I will take another short rest. Ah, oh, that put the wind back in my sails. Good. Medium toughness. What is medium toughness? Ah, okay. 22 damage. In that case, what do we have? That's not strong enough. That's not strong enough. Oh, bugger. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to the gunpowder reserve. I still don't really know what this um, orb of dark vision does. Because it said, like, when I used it, it said something like, oh, things have got darker. So where's the smoke powder reserve? Apparently that's here. Oh, it's below here. What does that mean? <laughs> Using my amazing wall viewing abilities, I cannot see anything. But then again, stuff's uh, sometimes hidden if it's dark. But I don't know that there is actually anything. Is it supposed to be this chest? Because there's nothing in it. There is a metal door here that I missed. Watch your back. Yeah, can you try and open that? Oh, it's unlocked. I just assumed. Sorry, I just assumed it would be locked. Uh, wooden barrel. Oh, this is on the right level for the smoke powder reserve. Oh. That's curious. Collapsed archway. I guess that's a way to go through I'm if you're yeah, if you're a druid. Okay. Everything. Through secret door number two. Whoop. Okay. Yeah, this is it. Smoke powder satchel. That. Some skulls. And the heavy chest with feign death. Put an ally in a protective coma. Interesting. Find explosives. I don't know what explosives I found. The smoke powder does like up to 21 damage. So unless it does extra damage against... Yeah, it doesn't say it does extra damage. Get Beldron out of there. Please. Okay, I guess I'll just use the explosives. Do I... Maybe I can... Maybe it's like a special... You near the rubble, a fragmented voice clutches at your mind. A true soul. Oh, he is alive. True soul. Finally, you must clear rubble, filling poison. Is anyone else in there? Gnome slaves, passage trap. Careful of mercs. Yeah. Get me out. That's him saying, watch out, some of the dwarves out there aren't loyal. His eyes is a blur. You only make out a bit of rubble oh. and few moving figures. And one who isn't. Uh... Okay. You sense Nier's frustration, tinged with rage, as the connection fades. Okay. I'm glad I killed everyone else first. True souls are infected like us. Why do they think they're talking to a You god? know that... Why... You know... Were we meant to turn out like that? Blissful idiots who thought they were talking to their god? Obviously, true souls are like us. How how you are unaware of that? We've met numerous true souls. Numerous people who are like, I can sense the tadpole in your head. You must be a true soul. And you're like, well, hang on. Are you telling me true souls have tadpoles in their heads? Come on, guys. All right. Um, I don't know if the smoke powder will work. And I don't like how close they are. So I will just save and then try it. Okay. Um... This'll help. Will oh, it? Get back. One spark and it'll blow. Okay. As it was, it's it's not blowing. 
I'm glad they pulled back, no but now what? Now do I blast it? Oh, there. Right, that didn't count as a spark. Damn, it's good to be alive. Bloody lucky I got multiple, isn't it? Handy. <laughs> Thank you, Carlac. Firebolt. Okay, so it's like a scripted event type thing, because that should not have done that much damage. Belgian. There's Nia. Iron Hands Steward. Lunkbuck. Oh. Hey. I haven't killed Finally. everybody. Worthless slaves. Your incompetence has been my ruin. Mm, I will be your ruin. Does not fail. Whoa. S stop. No more innocents will die today, Nia. So you care for the weak, true soul? Was it your hand that slayed Nier's servants? Or is there a sane explanation? The Mykonid Sovereign once rot cleansed and you're last on the list. I killed your friends and you're next. A slave uprising. The slavers turned on each other. I mean, technically that is true. They sort of did. Uh, or detect thoughts to try and defuse the situation. We killed your friends and you're next. Traitor. You disapproves? Why? Why do you disapprove? That's what we're bloody here to do. I don't understand you, Karlak. This near sounds like bad news. Guess we could lend a hand, right? Come on. Literally, it's what? What was I supposed to say there? Blame the um, blame the slaves? No. Try and talk him down when she was like, "Oh, we can help him out by going and killing that that near guy." I don't understand why she disapproved of that. Also, he just murdered somebody by chucking them into the lava. I think I probably could have intervened a little bit quicker, but no, apparently not. Can you just go and float over next to him? True soul of the absolute. What's his deal? Uh, he is resistant to psychic. He's muscular. Very strong. Interesting. Uh, that's about it. Let's go with a sneaky. Boom. And then move away because he's definitely going to be coming out of there. Another step and hide. On the hunt. Wicked coercion. In my thrall. Uh, no, I'm not. Hey, okay, Eve, back up. One day I'll catch a break. And then triple scorching ray his ass. Quadruple scorching ray his ass. All right, that was kind of low damage. Yeah, that could have done 48, and it did a total of 20. I'll have you two move in to body block the guy. Uh, take the dodge. No. Get in there, and I should have used the thing. Actually, right, I have these coins. I always forget to use them. I kind of don't think don't think I needed here. I would have needed it if we'd been doing that fight level. But um, no, I will rage. And then hit him again. I always forget to rage first, but now he's silenced, which is good. He didn't move far enough, so I'm just going to creep back into view and then sneaky. Okay, never mind then. Creep back out of view and hide. Miss. Miss. I don't think you can quite finish him off. Let's get Shadowheart to corrosive strike him. Okay, that was a very silent corrosive strike. It's a cool effect on Karlak, though. I like, also like the glow of his armor. Like, I, I, there's probably an effect he's got. What is that? Threatened thunder immunity. Interesting. Okay, I don't know what that is, but that's still cool looking. Yeah, move to there to block him further. Nope. Karlak, hit him. Nice. Can't even catch my breath. Eve. Go here to thread the needle and finish the guy off. You want to absorb him a bit. Oh! Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. Oh, goody, my dream buddy is talking to me. And you can talk to him, presumably, well. in, in case he dies before you reach him. The decaying corpse lies before you. Shouldn't be decaying now. Remove his head. Oh, right. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get Karlak to do that. 
Need a head removed, do you? The decaying corpse lies before you. Remove his head. A ten. And she's got a plus four. Natural twenty. How'd you critically remove somebody's head? This is quite gruesome. <laughs> the head breaks off cleanly from the drow's body. Cool. Oh, goody. <laughs> Wonderful. Yep. I've got a long road ahead. Uh, items received near his head. Disintegrating Nightwalkers. Nightwalker can't be enwebbed, entangled, or ensnared, and can misty step. All right, I should talk to them. Swift as my feet can carry me. I'm here now. Beldron! I was so worried! Did Nir hurt you? No, no, I'm all right. Did the sergeant hurt you? Oh, who cares? We're together mm. now, thank Iron Hand. No. <laughs> we ought to thank someone a little closer by, I think. Gaedel Iron Hand, you may not be, but you damn well fight like him. I'm grateful. Don't mistake me, but why help us? You're one of them, aren't you? It would seem not. Are you always so suspicious? The cult thinks it owns me. You say you're grateful. Thank Thula. I mean, I, thanking say thank Thula in that, yes, yeah, she did tell us about this, but at the same time, I would have done it anyway. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm not desperate for gratitude. Thank Thula. She's the one who sent me on your trail. <laughs> Glittering gods. I should have known that one was too damn stubborn to die. Here. The Iron Hand gnomes honor their debts. With Walburn gone, that falls to me. Make it quick. We need to find Walburn. Now! You're a little late, Barkus, my lad. He's already been sent to Moonrise Towers. Oh. We were just slave hands to the cult, but not Walburn. He knows things. Things they want to know, too. I like the way we're arrayed there. What has he gotten himself mixed up in now? Before you ask, no, I'm not going to stage your rescue. Whatever the cult wants, I want the opposite. There's no time to be coy. Uh, I also like to know things. There's no time to be coy. What is it? What is that Wilbrun knows? That's a typo. This is no time to be coy. What is it that Wilbrun knows? Uh, ten. Easy enough. You'll call me mad, but fine. Wilbrun's found the formula for rune powder. What? Aye. The explosive of Gerdel Iron Hand's own creation. Fistfuls, wiping out armies. All those old stories. Only Walbrun couldn't leave the stories be, so he went and bloody found it. A small supply tucked away down here with a manuscript. Mm. He just made sense of the formula when the cult jumped us, so he burned the damn thing. If there's a single copy left, it's sitting in his head. Those absolutists pull it out and make rune powder, they could flatten the whole of the Sword Coast. Interesting. Then we'll have to free him first. How long do you think you can hold out? I don't plan on being anywhere nearby if it's truly that powerful. Then we'll just have to free him first. You really would, wouldn't you? But not us. My people can barely stand, and we have business back in the city. <sighs> that business is what sent us after the powder to begin with. Now, we'll have to make other arrangements. And just like that, you'd leave Walbrun behind. I knew you lot were foolish, but I didn't know you were cruel. If you knew half as much as you think, my lad, Walbrun might have kept you around. Hmm. Enough, bickering won't save it. You just abandon your leader that's cold, run away, then I'll have my own business. If my path takes me there, I'll free him. Hmm. Hmm. Loyalty is important, but... Also, Eve is pragmatic enough to understand why, like, she isn't the idealist that her mother was, that she does understand the limitations of people and, and so on, that 
that she knows why they wouldn't charge into Moonrise Tower as something that is essentially a death sentence, especially when there is a highly capable team of par like uh, av adventurers who have just saved them, who've also said that they will save him. Enough. Bickering won't save your friend. And neither will this twit, apparently. My people will find somewhere to regroup across the lake, then on to the city. If you find yourself in Baldur's Gate, seek us out. We'll raise a glass to Walbrun together. I'll have saved him by then. Okay. Did they? Oh, Min is the one who just got ch in chucked into the lava. They're at peace now. Praise Iron Hand. We could have been you. I can't bear to think about it. You don't need to. We're together. That's what matters. They all have names, apart from her, who is Apprentice. Dagger plus one. Um, wait. Is that a bruise there? Mind Flare Parasite. Another spider's liar. Interesting. Broken moon lantern. A thick layer of dust coats the bottom of the lantern. Okay. A thou. Oh! Broken is an old heart. Nothing but dust inside. Sorry. I think I clicked through. Uh, investigate the lantern. Examine the dust. Ooh, let's go with Arcana. Yeah. This is pixie dust. Used to illuminate a lamp, or left behind after a pixie's death. Probably one than the other. Uh, and examine. Damn, I hope I didn't click through anything important or interesting or anything at all, really. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thousand gold and the sword of scream, psychic damage. Oh, it's a rapier. Um, do you want to inflict psychic damage? It is slightly lower damage. Ah, because it doesn't do the um, conditional pier uh, piercing if they have uh, all their hit points. So yeah, that's probably a better a better weapon for him. So there's wiki. So, yeah, Wiki was there and Mian is the one who got chucked into the lava. There's a double door, a brazier, which is apparently doing absolutely nothing to the gas, and double doors beyond. So the double doors presumably are the right way, but there is also that lift back here that I've not touched. Hey guys, you're still the only two left. Oh, and I do still need to go over to the Adamantine Forge, which I can do now that I don't have the ticking clock. Uh, all right, we'll check out the lift. No, we'll check out the forge. We'll do the forge first. Oh, yeah. I forgot to uh, have Shadowheart put on these gloves. She's wearing the metallic ones, but improving her armor save is probably better. Oh, my God. Prideful as he was in life, near is just like anyone else in death. Mouth slack, eyes bulging, and flesh slowly starting to rot. Great. Okay. Uh, I've got Shadowheart on those switches. I've got Karlak back on those ones. Uh, can you lift this? Can't afford to stay idle. What to do? And then jump up to this. Platform's covered in rust. Must be older than bone dust. What does that mean? Surely bone dust is like how long's a piece of string? Hmm. Okay, and now move it across. Asterion has all of the molds I found, and there's at least one more to find. And then jump across to there. Come on, Asterion. Just the two of us. There's another one, a mace. Ah, uh, I'm guess. Ah, fantastic. I was wondering how everyone else would be able to get across, because, yeah, there's like, especially with this, it's clear there is no path. But that has answered it. I just saw another mold as well. Come on, Asterion. Waypoint discovered. Group and group. And you can then go boom. I said, and group. Oh, she's too far away. Okay. Um... Bring her over then. 